This is a very exciting development as Ghana's innovative prowess is on full display. In today's video, we'll be looking at an amazing development in Ghana's car manufacturing sector. At the heart of this development is the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, widely known as KNUST, one of the prime universities in Africa. Some students of this institution are redefining what is possible in the nation's automotive sector at the moment. A team of brilliant young engineers and students achieved something extraordinary, taking a petrol-powered Toyota Corolla and transforming it into a fully functional electric vehicle. So in this video, we'll be exploring how this groundbreaking achievement unveiled during KNUST's first ever tech alumni homecoming in 2025 has become a fertile ground for innovation in the automotive sector. As always, before we delve deeper, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as we bring you riveting information. This transformative project is revolutionary for Ghana's car manufacturing sector, which has been on the high rise of late. The achievement, which is a remarkable transformation of a Toyota Corolla from a traditional petrol-powered vehicle to an electric one, the process the engineers and students took was no small feat as it required a complete overhaul of the car system executed with precision and creativity by KNUST's automobile engineering students. The team replaced the internal combustion engine with a high-frequency electric motor, a tax that demanded both technical expertise and innovative problem-solving. This is very exciting because it shows the keen understanding of both the petrol-powered engine and the electric vehicles. They also designed and integrated a custom battery pack, ensuring that the vehicle could deliver reliable performance without relying on fossil fuel. The car's control systems were reconfigured to support electric propulsion, a complex process that showcased the student's ability to apply classroom knowledge to real-world challenges. This cutting-edge project has sent shockwaves into the country's automotive sector because swapping out parts is not as difficult as redesigning the entire vehicle. This feat reimagines the future of Ghana's transport. The students worked tirelessly to ensure the electric cooler met modern standards of efficiency, safety and sustainability, which was accounted by the professors of the institution, as well as expert innovators in the automotive sector. The faculty advisors from KNUST's College of Engineering provided invaluable guidance, helping the team navigate technical hurdles while encouraging them to think outside the box. The result is a vehicle that not only performs seamlessly, but also serves as a prototype for how Ghana can retrofit its existing fleet of vehicles to meet the demands of a greener era, in case the need be. Imagine individuals sending in their petrol-powered vehicles to be redesigned into an electric one. This is a magnificent and innovative feat, which was never thought of in Ghana. The initiative also highlights the power of local ingenuity to transform existing infrastructure, reduce waste and pave way for a more sustainable transport sector. KNUST has long been a cornerstone of academic excellence in Africa, renowned for producing innovative thinkers who tackle real-world challenges. Its latest accomplishment, which is the conversion of the petrol-powered Toyota Corolla, which was previously part of the Vice Chancellor's office fleet into an electric vehicle, underscores its commitment to pushing boundaries of technology and sustainability. The project was led by final year students in the BSc Automobile Engineering program. This is a shining example of how academic institutions like this can drive meaningful change. It's not just about the building of the cars. It was the showcasing of Ghana's potential to pioneer solutions that address environmental concerns while fostering local innovation. The brilliance of this innovation lies in its alignment with Ghana's national goals of reducing carbon emissions and embracing clean energy. In case there need be, it can be done. That's what this innovative project showcases. The university's leadership has emphasized that this project is a stepping stone towards a broader vision, a future where Ghana's transport sector is powered by sustainable technology. And by equipping these students with the skills and resources to tackle such complex challenges, the university is nurturing a new generation of engineers who are ready to lead the charge in overhauling Ghana's automotive sector as well. The electric cola is a symbol of what's possible when education, innovation and environmental consciousness come together. The unveiling of the electric cola during KNUST's Tech Alumni Homecoming in 2025 was a moment of national pride. This landmark event brought together alumni, industry leaders, policymakers, and sustainability advocates to celebrate a project that marks a significant step for Ghana's automotive industry. The converted vehicle stands as a powerful symbol of what young Ghanaian engineers can achieve when given the opportunity to innovate. It's a brilliant testament to the idea that Ghana's car manufacturing sector is not just about keeping pace. It is also poised to set new benchmarks for sustainable technology in Africa. By transitioning from petrol to electric-powered vehicles, the Cola now produces zero-till pipe emissions, contributing to a cleaner air and reduced carbon footprint in a country where urban pollution is a growing concern. 
This also aligns with the vision to transform the Ghanaian car manufacturing industry entirely. Also, Ghana's National Energy Transition Framework, which outlines ambitious plans to electrify the transport sector and reduce reliance on fossil fuel, is at hand. The government, seeing this, is more committed to expanding solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations and offering incentives for green technology, further amplifying the significance of KNUST's work. The electric cooler is more than just a single vehicle, as it has become a blueprint for how Ghana can transform its public and private transport system from taxi to buses into eco-friendly alternatives that benefit both environment and the economy. This came at no risk of reducing the performance of the vehicle as well, which is an impressive feat. The project comes at a pivotal moment for Ghana as the nation is positioning itself as a leader in Africa's electric vehicle revolution. With recent partnership talks like the 2025 China-Africa Automotive Development Forum, which was hosted by KNUST in collaboration with Hubei University of Automotive Technology, highlighted Ghana's growing influence in the global EV landscape, as well as partnering with China. The forum marked the launch of an international joint research center for advanced automotive energy storage materials and systems, a groundbreaking initiative that would dive advancements into battery technology, vehicle design, and grid integration. This partnership is a game-changer, fostering collaboration between Ghanaian and international researchers to develop solutions that benefit not only Ghana, but also the entire African continent. The Ghanaian government is also playing a critical role in this transformation. The government has plans to deploy over 100 solar-powered rapid charging stations across the country, all within five years, which is to tell you that the government is hinting as an influx of electric vehicles flooding the country. Though all the details have not been made known yet, these stations will be powered by a combination of solar and grid energy and will support the growing adoption of EVs in urban and rural areas alike. Ghana is laying the foundation for a robust electric vehicle industry that could create thousands of jobs, reduce dependence on imported fuels and establish the country as a hub for advanced manufacturing in West Africa. This is where the KNUST's electric cooler comes in because it shows that we have experts already in the country being nurtured in the various universities. This is a spark that could ignite a broader movement, inspiring other institutions, entrepreneurs and policymakers to join the push for sustainable mobility. As we celebrate KNUST's remarkable achievements, we are reminded that the future of Ghana's car manufacturing sector is not only bright, but is also electric. The conversion of the petrol-powered Toyota Corolla into a fully functional electric vehicle is a triumph of innovation, education and sustainability. It's a powerful reminder that Ghana's young engineers, supported by visionary institutions like KNUST, are also ready to lead the charge in transforming Ghana's mobility landscape. This is just the beginning, and we are very excited to share what these young engineers accomplished. We invite you to join the conversation. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you embrace an electric vehicle as part of Ghana's sustainable future? Let me know. Don't forget to hit the like button to inform others as well. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more stories of innovation and progress. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this next video out.